the NFL is about to be great this Sunday. We in for a real treat this weekend of the NFL. Got some key games that I want to focus in on. Giants and Cowboys to start off. Now, I'm going to pick the Giants on this one. My main reason is because the Cowboys looked very sloppy last week against the Panthers. I seen Cam Newton run all over them. They had a field day, throwing the ball, running the ball, and the Cowboys let it happen. Now, the Giants, they played a hard game last week against the Jaguars, and they still managed to move the ball thoroughly. When they go against the Cowboys this weekend, easy money. I see it's easy money. I see Saquon Barkley having a field day. I feel like Eli Manning and his receivers are going to make big plays. Now that the Giants got two people who are those exciting players to watch and two exciting players to make big plays, I'm talking about Odell Beckham and Saquon Barkley, they're easily able to make big plays now. They're they're going to have that, that excitement every time they step on the field. The game came down to one crucial mistake with the Giants last week in the Jaguars. But other than that, I think Eli Manning probably could have put the ball in the end zone. However, Giants and Cowboys, I'm rolling with the Giants. I got them winning this game. Steelers and Chiefs. Steelers and Chiefs both rely on big plays. I watched them last week. Chiefs had a huge, uh, a lot of big plays with Tariq Hill. Tariq Hill made some amazing catches. He made some amazing returns. And they played really good. They played all right. It wasn't bad. But for the Steelers, I don't know if Le'Veon Bell is coming back or not. I don't even think it really matters if Le'Veon Bell comes back or or not. Either way, the backup running back, James Conner, he rushed for 135 last week. So he can hold it down whether Le'Veon Bell is coming back or not. But if he does, it's always a plus. I'm not just going to throw the guy out there and, and discredit him where credit is due. Antonio Brown pulled off some great catches last week that was very crucial in that Bears game. I was excited to watch that. Connor slapped up two TDs on the board, as I mentioned. But both of these teams, it's going to be a ball. It's going to be a ball game. And this game, I feel like, will be the most exciting to watch. The Steelers and the Chiefs will be the most exciting to watch because they both rely on huge plays. But in terms of who's coming away with that dub, I got to go with the Steelers. And I believe the Steelers are at home as well, so that's going to put them at an advantage a little bit. So, And I don't think they're going to start this season 0-2. <laughs> so I'm going with the Steelers. Bring out your terrible tiles, everybody. Now for my next game, I got the Vikings in Green Bay. I'm excited to watch Aaron Rodgers battle again. This man, has, he put on a show last week against the uh, against the uh, with the Bears, he put on a show. He came back. He went down early in the, in the first half, and then came back in the third and just lit up the scoreboard, took the dub, which was exciting for me to watch, especially since we didn't really get to watch Aaron Rodgers all last season. But in terms of the Vikings, they got a pretty good defense, but their defense was really playing around a lot last week. They let their team they were going against come back. It was San Fran. They let San Fran come back and, and stay in striking distance, even though they didn't win. But the Vikings defense stepped up when they needed to. But they just played around and let them hang and linger around. And they let them linger. Yeah, they stayed in striking distance. Even though San Fran didn't play the best offensive game last week, it's a shame that they were even able to, to make it a game or make the game that close. Now, if they do that against Aaron Rodgers, this is an automatic L. I'm going with Green Bay, the cheese heads on this. One, they're at Lambeau Field. And Aaron Rodgers, I don't think he's going to let his home team down. So Packers pulling this off late in the fourth. And for this last team, Patriots and the Jaguars, it's a repeat of the AFC Championship. I am excited to watch this. Patriots always play good. Or I don't want to say always play good because sometimes they have their games where, where they, they got to get it together. Everybody has those games. I'm going with the Jaguars on this. Patriots is not going to be easy to beat, of course, whether you're on a home, whether you're home field or whether you're playing them at their home field. They're a good team. I know a lot of people always clown Blake Bortles, too, about not being a good player or, or not being a good quarterback, I should say. But Blake Bortles will actually step up. And I think he's underestimated just a tiny bit. I mean, the guy is not that bad. Of course, the Jaguars are still holding a big grudge from last year. They lost what they felt they should have won. They only lost by four. So they're coming out hard regardless. They're going to come out hard, and I think they're going to get straight into it and win. Jags going to be at home. 
They're going to get it done this time. I don't know what the score will be, but I am predicting that Jaguars get this win because they're coming with something to prove. And that's all I got for y'all today. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at underscore Manny30. Have a great day today.